Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought it'd be fun to do another one palette, to do a one palette multiple looks video. So the palette I've chosen today is a fairly neutral palette. I thought it'd be quite um, a good one to go for. I'm going for a sleek palette. This is the Au Naturel palette, the 601. One of my favourite palettes from Sleek. It's beautiful shades, like I said, very neutral. A mix of mattes and shimmers in here. And I thought it would be fun to show you, I've got six looks for you today, um, ranging from everyday to slightly more glamorous. So I've got a cut crease on at the moment, that's probably the hardest one out of all of them to do, but I tried to mix it up. And in all honesty, it's more about the techniques in this video as opposed to the palette, if that makes sense. Um, so these techniques you can kind of apply to any palettes almost. Um, Provided there are mattes and shimmers, although you could, I mean I am quite like having shimmers through the crease, so that actually wouldn't bother me, but if it was like an all glitter palette, maybe it wouldn't work. Um, so I thought it would be quite fun to show you this palette. If you do enjoy this video and you'd like to see more like this, then do let me know down below and maybe give suggestions of other palettes you'd like to see where I do multiple looks from um, and stuff like that. So I use... I think I've pretty much used all colours at some point in this video. I also use extra things like liquid liner, mascara, concealer for things. Um, but I would do that with normal looks anyway. And I try, I do add a couple of different lip options in there. Mainly nudes, a couple of different colours, but mainly nudes in all honesty. Um, yeah, so if you would like to see the six looks I created using this palette, then just keep watching. So the first look is a half cut crease, or at least my attempt at half cut crease. I really like, I've been seeing these quite a lot recently, I think they look really pretty. So I've taken the matte brown shade from this palette, and this is going to be popped through the crease, and I go back and forth just building the intensity that I want. Then I take this grey stone kind of shade from the palette and I use this to further blend out and almost act as my transition shade as well. Then I'm taking the black shade, I'm just very lightly going with this shade and just further intensifying the crease section. And I'm taking that same shade just very lightly on the outer corner of the lid as well. Then I'm taking this more shimmery brown shade, pop it on top of the black shade just to, I fancied a bit of shimmer there instead. Blending that out. And then I took, oh no I didn't, I go back in with the black shadow on a pencil brush just to further intensify the crease. So that when I go to kind of half cut it, it's more intense. Then I'm going concealer just to uh, map out where I want the crease to be for the first bit. So you literally just do it in the inner section going up and to set it I'm taking the white shade in the palette. Then I'm going with this kind of greeny shimmer shade and packing this on the section that I've created like the black blank canvas for the half cut crease and then I do to lighten it ever so slightly I do go in with the more peachy shimmer shade as well. I thought it looked quite pretty together. So that's kind of my attempt at half cut crease. Then I was going with some liquid liner. I'm just lining the upper lash line. I'm not going to wing it out or anything like that. Just purely line it. Then going with this shimmer brown shade again. I'm using this to run along my lower lash line. And then give my upper and lower lashes a couple of coats of mascara. And then for lips I went in with the... Colourpop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in Instigator, just a really nice peachy nude colour. Okay, so look number two is more of a kind of bridal look or like a wedding guest look. It's quite subtle and soft, so I'm taking the yellow and orange matte shades in this palette. <clears throat> I'm mixing them together to create my transition shade. Then going with the matte purple tone shade and popping this on the outer corner of the eye or the lid. And 
I'm going to go in with that peachy shimmer shade and pop in this on the inner section. I'm just using my finger for this, I'm just packing it on. I'm using, go back in with that matte purple shade just to run along the lower lash line. So it's quite a soft look, but I thought it was very pretty. I'm taking the black shade just to define the upper lash line ever so slightly. So like I said, it's quite a pretty wedding look. You might want to go a bit more intense if it was more of a bridal look, I think, for photography purposes and stuff. But still really pretty. I took some brown liner in the waterline and popped some mascara on again. And then for lips, I'm using the Lily Yellow Rose Gold Lipstick. It's quite a pretty soft look. Okay, for look number three, this is very much an everyday, very simple look. I'm taking the white shade and the more stone shade, beige shade, mix them together just to pop all over the lid. I'm taking the grey shade just to add some definition to the eye, or to the crease in fact, sorry. This isn't going to look like much, but it's going to just add a bit of definition to the eye. Then I'm taking the matte brown shade and literally run this along the upper lash line. And I also take it along the lower lash line as well. This is very much a soft, simple, everyday look. And of course add some mascara again. Now for lips I did go a bit darker. This is the Colourpop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in Trap. Still quite a soft look, uh, lip but I thought it just added a little something to the eyes so for look number four this is a halo eye look or a spotlight eye look depending on what you like to call it so I'm taking the matte purple toned shade again and I'm packing this on the outer corner and also the inner corner as well making sure to leave the gap in the center and just re-intensify everything and then I go in with the matte black shade and just to further intensify the outer inner corners but I'm literally taking it very much on the very outer section and the very very inner section because I still want some of that purple to show through then I took this nice purple shimmer shade packed this on the center bit, the halo bit and just to lighten it as well I went in with the peachy shimmer shade as well and that creates your halo slash spotlight effect on the eye then I went in and just re-intensified with the matte purple shade make sure everything was nice and blended then I take that same shade for the lower lash line, I literally pop this all over the lower lash line I then go in with the matte black shade to um, intensify the outer and inner corners of the lower lash line and then go both, uh, go in with both those shimmer shades again and pop them on the centre bit of the lower lash line just to mimic the halo effect on the upper lid then just taking a black pencil just to waterline and tightline and again add a couple of coats of mascara for lips I took the Makeup Revolution Lipstick and Twist pat this on and slowly blend it out to give a soft red look red lip look for look number 5 I wanted to go for quite a a sort of smoky eye look so I'm taking that matte purple shade again I'm packing this all over the lid this is actually a very very simple look only a couple of colours in this look but it's just pack it on then I go and blend it out and just to help further blend it out I take the um, grey shade from the palette and like I said I just further blend it out and kind of act as a transition shade Then I did take some of the black uh, shadow just to define the upper lash line ever so slightly. And then go back in with that purple shade just to re-intensify the lid. Then going back in with the black shade just to run that along the lower lash line. Trying to avoid the really inner part of the lash line. And then I go back in with that matte purple shade just to further blend and smoke everything out on the lower lash line. And then again go with a couple of coats of mascara. You'll notice with this video I don't do any um, false lashes just so you can see the eye look properly. But you can have false lashes if you want to. Then I take another Colourpop liquid lipstick in Teeny Tiny to go with this eye look. So the f sixth and final eye is a cut crease. Probably the hardest one but still relatively fun to do. Taking the grey shade first and popping this into the crease and above 
then taking the more stony coloured shade to further blend out and to sort of act as a chosen shade. Then I go in with the black shade. First of all, I take on a slightly fluffier brush with a very light hand and buff this into the crease and slightly above as well. And as I go along, I change brushes. So you see I've got a slightly thinner brush now, still with the same shade, but just to further intensify as I get really quite into the crease. And it just helps with the gradual effect of the eye. And I make sure I blend out as I go along. And then I take a pencil brush going the exact same shade, but just really in further intensify the crease. Then I'm taking concealer again. I find this trick to be the easiest way to create a cut crease. I literally go in and map out my lid and create kind of a new crease in there and I s slightly bring it up on the outer corner as well but ever so slightly but like I said this is definitely the easiest way for I think to cut, create a cut crease now I'm taking the mixture of the yellow and the white to kind of set that in place and taking the peachy shimmer shade and pop this all over the lid you could use whichever colour you wanted to for the lid part I just fancied using the peachy shimmer shade today And then I'm going with some liquid liner and I am doing a little wing as well with this look. And then I did decide to leave the lower lash line completely bare, apart from mascara. So I'm just going to mascara on the upper and lower lashes and that's it. Then for lips I'm using the sleek matte me liquid lipstick in shabby chic. And that completes this cut crease look. Okay, so that's all six looks for you. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which look was your favourite. And... Um, with any of these looks you can switch up the colours, you can use alternative colours from the palette, whatever, and do let me know if you'd like to see another version of this but with a different palette, um, not necessarily a sleep palette but just any palette in general, do let me know and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.